So you just finished your design, you're getting ready to outline everything and start coloring and you realize that you missed a few little overlapping parts of your stroke. I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way of getting rid of those little overlaps in this video. Welcome back designers, my name is Mike Pickett. I am a graphic and web designer with nearly two decades of experience in the industry. Now in this video, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at a tool that I use pretty often, pretty much on every design, and it just helps me kind of polish things and clean up just a little bit before I move over into my coloring. Now, if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do daily videos right now, but that's only gonna last for about another, I think, 12 days or so. After that, I'm switching up into one or two videos a week, and I'm gonna start covering more than just Adobe Illustrator tutorials. We're gonna talk about logo design, we're gonna talk about dealing with clients, tools that'll help you as a freelancer, or maybe even you're working for a studio, I'll show you some ways you can impress your boss. Now, a lot of times, like I mentioned in the intro, I'm working with a design and I've got intersecting paths that I maybe just didn't clean up or I missed when I was going through everything with my shape builder and removing kind of those overlaps. But rather than selecting everything again and going shift M and getting my shape builder and, and having to remove those, I use the path eraser tool. It's a pretty simple tool to use. Let's hop over to Illustrator and I'll show you how it works. All right, so here we are inside of Illustrator. I went ahead and grabbed a, an art piece that I did a little while ago. This is my hourglass. There's just a few little issues we're gonna correct using the path eraser tool. So I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. I'm gonna hit Z on my keyboard and we're gonna come in and just zoom in right on the piece. Now, as you can see, I've got kind of an overlapping spot here. I've got another one here. And then we've got this right down here that I'm gonna clean up. I won't go through all of these, but we'll grab a couple of them and we'll just kind of touch them up. First thing I wanna do is grab my selection tool. So hit V on my keyboard, and I wanna grab the areas that we're gonna be working on. Now you can zoom in further than this, and I will as we go, but first I wanna grab my tool. Now I know that it's under my shaper tool. So I'm gonna hit Shift N on my keyboard, which gets me down to my shaper tool. And then I can just click and hold and get down to my path eraser tool. You'll notice there's no keyboard shortcut for this. So for now, again, I wanna make sure that this is highlighted. And if you notice when I switched over to my tools, it deselected everything. So a method that I use when I've got the path eraser tool on is holding down command. And that allows me to quick select things. And then I can go in and erase. Now, one of the things that I wouldn't say it bothers me, but it just kind of, I question once in a while is where exactly am I using the tool, right? So is it the center of the eraser? Is it the sort of top left point of the eraser? Where is my path for erasing? Now with most of these, as long as you're close, it's gonna cover it. But what I like to do sometimes with these is hit my caps lock key, and that way I get this crosshair. So now I know exactly where my point is that I'm gonna erase. So I'm gonna just go Command plus on my keyboard to zoom in a little bit. And I wanna get rid of this path right here just this overlap. So I'm gonna start just a little inside, because again, I mean, I still wanna leave enough of this that it's not gonna show a bulge out here, or it's not gonna affect kind of where these are joining. I just wanna get rid of this inside path. So I'm gonna click just inside and follow along that path to just outside of the next one. And you see, I can go just a little bit more and probably a little more and there we're clean. So let's do another one. Oh, you can see up here, I've got just a little bit sticking out. I'm gonna hold down Command, highlight those two, and then I can go in here again and just get rid of that little bit. So I'm gonna space bar and then drag and click. And we've got this one here. So again, I'm gonna hold down Command. I'm gonna highlight the two of those, and then I'm just gonna mouse over this. And now I got that little bit left. I'm just gonna give it a little jiggle there. And if I hold down Command and click off, now I can see that those two are all cleaned up. It's kept everything as a path, so if I highlight everything, it's still all separated. And I mean, yeah, you could, I mean, if I really, really wanted to, I could go in and clean the rest of these up and get rid of those little paths that are outlining, but I'm gonna end up using my Pathfinder and uniting these anyway, so it really doesn't matter cleaning up all of these little extras. All right, so that's it. As you can see, there's no extra options or anything for this one, no double-clicking on the icon to get more things. You just kind of find the spots that you wanna get rid of, Give it a little tap or a stroke and away you go. Very simple tool to use. Once again, I'm hoping that this one maybe helps speed up your workflow a little bit. Now the Shape Builder is one of those tools that I rely on quite a bit, but this Path Eraser tool has kind of become my secondary or my go-to when I just need to do a quick cleanup. All right, designers, that's it for this one. I gotta get back to work once again. 
looking for a new outro for these, but I mean, until I find one, this is just gonna have to do. You can subscribe to the channel right there. This is a video that you actually might enjoy or you might learn something from it. Does all educational content need to be enjoyable as well? I think there needs to be a just a, a factor of entertainment with education. Edutainment, I think I've heard that somewhere before, maybe not.